Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. This is the Unify Express and I think it's a very exciting new hardware from Unify. It's designed for small networks up to 60 wireless clients or so. It features a small LCM screen on the front, two gigabit ports on the back, one for LAN, one for WAN. It's powered by USB-C and look how small it is relative to my palm. The footprint is just great and the design very sleek and clean. Now, I like about this device, for example, that you can deploy it either as a gateway, like you would a UDR, for example, with a full Unify console. There are a few limitations there, but you can definitely do it. Or you can deploy this device just as a wireless access point, and this is a Wi-Fi 6 2x2 MIMO access point. And if you decide to deploy it as an access point, this device has a trick up its sleeve. So let's go over to the computer and start working. Alright guys, so let's look at a, at, a, at a quick rundown of what we're going to do today. At first I'm going to take my Unify Express and connect it to my network via cable. Before starting this recording I already plugged my Unify Express to power and to my network and give the Unify Express a few minutes to load up because it does take its time, it's not, it doesn't have the beefiest CPU and it has a relatively fat operating system compared to other Unify access points. Even when the little LCM screen tells you to go ahead and download the Unify app and start configuring it, there's a little progress bar running below, so just give it a minute or two after that. All right, so as I said, at first I'm going to connect the Unify Express to my network via cable, which is not really uh, all that exciting, very, very standard. I'm expecting the Unify Express to present itself to be adopted and I'm expecting the adoption to be just as a regular access point. Nothing special about that. Even though it's not that exciting, it's really essential for us to be able to move forward to the second scenario right here. This is when I will unplug the network cable from the LAN port of the Unify Express. I'm going to give it one or two minutes and then I expect the Unify Express to mesh wirelessly to my U6 Pro access point. And at that point, the, Uni the Unify Express LAN port will be vacant and I will be able to connect a Unify switch to this LAN port. So I am going to connect a, a, a Unify Flex Mini switch to the LAN port of the Unify Express. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick speed test with a Unify Express as an access point. At that point I'm going to connect it, connect it back to a network cable so it will be hardwired and let's just see about that. So the Unify Express I'm guessing it will already be ready for adoption. If not I'm going to wait just a minute or two but here it is. Here's the Unify Express ready to be adopted. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on click to adopt. At this point I expect this will be just a regular adoption, it does take a minute or two. I'm going to pause the recording just so we will we'll not have to wait for it. Alright, so the Unify Express is adopted and it really did just adopt just like any other Unify access point. So let's see, let's click on the Unify Express and we'll see what, we'll, uh, what we're able to see here, some air stats, channels. I expect in settings some radio settings, that's great, that, that's just like any other access point, very standard at this point. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and unplug the network cable from the Unify Express and I want to uh, give it a few minutes just so it will be able to mesh itself to my U6 Pro. I'm going to pause the recording again and I'm going to come back once the network cable is unplugged. All right, guys, so the network cable is unplugged and I've let my Unify Express, I gave it around two minutes to figure out what things are. And if we look at it right now, we can see that it is meshing to my living room U6 Pro and they're right against each other. They're, I don't know, a few feet apart, perfect line of sight. So we can see, by the way, that the meshing, uh, meshing statistics is just great. 1.2 gigs 
Now, now don't be fooled. You might think that 1.20 gigs is better than even a wired uh, connection of one gig, but that's not really all that correct because we're talking about half duplex communication where a uh, hardwired cable is full duplex. But in any case, meshing works just great when the conditions are right, but it should always be your plan B. So now it's, now it's where things get interesting. The Unify Express is, is meshed wirelessly, meaning the LAN port is now vacant. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to connect a Unify Flex mini switch to the LAN port of the Unify Express. All right, so the Flex mini is in and almost instantly I can see it's available to be adopted. So I am going to adopt it. All right, so the Flex Mini is adopted and remember it's connected, it's uplinked to my Unify Express and my Unify Express is uplinked wirelessly through my U6 Pro. Let's see if it's presented correctly in the topology. I'm just curious. Here's my U6 Pro and here's my Unify Express and the Flex Mini is connected to it. How, how cool is that? It's almost, again, almost like a, a network bridge. So. Now, the last part for me is to go ahead and connect a wired client to the Flex Mini, it's just a, a Raspberry Pi, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so my hardwired client is connected to my Flex Mini and I'm actually surprised this is being presented accurately in the topology map. So we got our Raspberry Pi connected to the Flex Mini, connected to the uh, Unify Express, wirelessly connected to my U6 Pro and from there to the rest of the network. So in reality, what we've achieved is sort of, sort of a wireless bridge where the Unify Express is allowing us to have, because it's meshed, when, when it's meshed to, an, uh, to another access point, the LAN port is vacant, available for hardwired clients. So this is exactly what we are getting out of this result right here, which is very cool if you have, I don't know, some place that are hard to reach or hard to uh, deploy a network cable to, you can use the Unify Express for these hard to reach places and you can provide connectivity which will then be translated to also wired connectivity for your, for your wired clients, which is great. And so the last thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, get the Unify Express again connected via cable to my network because I do want to run some speed tests on it. So I, again, I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to resume it once the Unify Express is connected with, via cable. All right, guys, so my Unify Express is now connected back to the network via cable. And I am in a sort of a concrete wall room, so there's very little interference. I temporarily changed the five gigahertz wireless settings to the 160 channel width so I could squeeze everything I can from the Unify Express. One word of caution, I am going to pause the recording when I'm actually doing the speed test because while the recording is, is running, the stress on the phone causes the test results to be lower than they can be. So I am going to run the open speed test right now. So these are the results that I was able to get from my Unify Express around 450 gigs down and around 400 up. I ran the results, I ran the test uh, 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 two or three times. The results were always around the same. So actually that was uh, kind of what I was expecting and the results in my opinion are just great. All right guys, so this was, this was my review of the Unify Express as an access point, being hardwired or wireless meshing to another access point. One thing that I noticed is that even when the uh, Unify Express is connected via cable or when it's meshed, you cannot configure the LAN port of the Unify Express like for example other uh, switches or uh, combo devices. If you want the Unify Express LAN port to be on a different VLAN, that cannot be done at least currently. Maybe it will be addressed in a future uh, firmware update or something like that. So guys, this was my review. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Bye everyone.